Retrotech 100. Hello and welcome to Retrotech 100. This was going to be two videos, but I thought I'd make it into one. I'm going to talk about the modern Mega Drive 2 that I got, and also the clone Ever Drive cart that I got lent. Now the modern Mega Drive 2 cost me 25 quid from my mate Wayne. It was worth that all day long. It's got the language mod and the 50 60Hz switch. I haven't really messed about with the language mod yet, but I have messed about with the 50 60Hz switch. And if you've been a PAL gamer when you were a kid, we really got robbed, you'll see in a minute. So like I said, I got this for 25 quid, and I've been lent the card by Wayne. Wayne sold me this, and Wayne lent me this. We all need a Wayne in our lives. Somebody said that to me in the comments. So I'll show you how the modern Mega Drive 2 works, and also the EverDrive clone cart works. This what it looks like when you turn on the clone cart. You've got play game, select game, options, cheats, and toolbox. I haven't messed with any of these, but we'll have a look in a minute. If you turn the flash cart off and back on when you've already played a game, it'll go straight back to that game. So when you hit play game, it'll go straight to there. Get these options, play game, select game, options, cheats, and toolbox. You go to select game, uh, you put your games in the Mega Drive folder and the Master System folder, because it can play both. You go to Mega Drive, and then you get them separated by hash to F, G to M, N to T, and U to Z. You've got a uh, list of them. You go up and down to select them, and left, and right to change to the next page. And Sonic the Hedgehog. This will show you the real difference between 50 and 60 hertz. It takes about 10 seconds for it to load into memory. You've got Sonic the Hedgehog running off the F Drive clone car. Or the flash card. So now I can't remember if this is 50 or 60 hertz mode. We just flip and we'll find out. Just flip the button. Which takes a second for your TV to catch up. And you can see you've got borders now. This is in the 60 hertz mode. I'm not really sure what those pixels are up at the top. I might be able to do with my television or the cable that I bought. That's 60 hertz mode, and let's go to 50 hertz mode. And you'll see the difference. <sighs> the music's a lot slower, and you've got the top and, board, top and bottom border bars. You never really notice it when you're a kid and you're playing these games so you don't get the access to the US games but at 60 hertz mode it's, it's a completely different game. Is Primal Rage playing? I'm not sure if this is the 50 or 60 hertz yet. No. I think this is 60 hertz. As you can see, the music's a lot slower, and the gameplay will be about 17% slower in the PAL version. So let's put it to the NTSC or 60 hertz speed. I always felt like this is a pretty solid game on a Mega Drive. I was never good at it. But if I now pause the Mega Drive, oh, there is no pause on Primal Rage. Just flip it to the 60 hertz. Takes, you can see the speed difference is quite high. This is the uh, 50 hertz. And when you play 60 hertz, going back to 50 is nearly impossible to play certain games. But with the modern console, games that are specifically written for the PAL region, uh, you're going to get the correct speed. Let's go 
go back to NTSC. Or 60 hertz. I'm probably mixing them too up. This is 60 hertz anyway. Just the miles handed to me. Let's have a look at a Master System game running on the EverDrive clone cart or the Mega Drive flash cart. Now that's in a 50 hertz range. Much faster in the 60 hertz range. I'm not sure this ever came out on an NTSC system. I'll we'll have to see if it's playable. And it's nice to be able to play all your Mega Drive. It's nice to be able to play all your Master System games with the Mega Drive. So these are definitely worth buying for my system alone. They do take a long time to come. Um, I'll try and find a link in the description. They're worth having. Have another quick look at another Mars system game. Try Astro Warrior. This is the speed I would have played it as a kid. And now this is the speed I can play it now. Oh, mine, I found it hard enough when I was a kid. This is a great game, I think it was built into some master systems. Very simple, but very challenging. I never used to get very far as a kid. I've got to say, I'm more of a master system person than a Mega Drive person. I couldn't really afford Mega Drive games when I was a kid, but now I've got them all. On this clone cart. Pretty well. I'm not going to be too as well as this. Mm hmm. I just want to show you that now I have a modded console I can play Genesis game, that's right NHL PA Hockey 93 Sean Moroney sent me this for my 100th video plus another hockey game so I'll show you there's no trickery if I want to play Jap games I'm going to have to cut the cartridge port or get um, some sort of adapter um, I forget what you call the adapter now but with Genesis cards they fit straight in especially um, EA ones because they've got a weird shape I'll just turn that off and now it will play that's at one speed that's at the power version so that's what we used to have to pop with in England Here's my US version of NHL PA Hockey 93 on my power modded Mega Drive 2. I've no, I no idea how to play this one, so uh, just give it a bash. I do like hockey games, I've got quite a few. I'll we'll play with uh, the yep, start game. I did actually used to play this. 
playing this game. I used to play quite a few EA hockey games when I was a kid. I'll play that later. Um, I do have RetroPie and I can play all these games on that, but sometimes it's nice to play on original hardware. I think I'll be borrowing this flash card for quite some time. Sorry, Wayne. I'll get it back to you when I can. And thanks, Wayne, for modding my Mega Drive 2. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is RetroTech 100. I'll see you next time. Come on, Pittsburgh.